This is the Align Pretzel Show. I'm your host, Nisha Ryan, founder of the Align Pretzel Inc., a digital marketing and operations agency for witchy spiritual entrepreneurs. Your small business just got a marketing department for the fraction of the price. You're welcome. If you're looking to get your shit together, have some giggles, spiritually expand, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Hello, 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 Nisha Ryan and the Line Pretzel coming at you. Pretzel Dog is in the house as well. She wants to say hi. All right, come on. <laughs> come say hi. Okay. She hears me talking and hears me excited to speak to you and she's like, I want in. Say hi, Gabby. Pretzel Dog. Okay. So, hi everybody. How are you doing? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um... Those of you who haven't seen me in here for a while, it's been a while. So happy that I restarted this group, the Align Pretzel Community. So um, if you don't know, obviously I'm Head Pretzel, <laughs> Misha Ryan from the AlignPretzel.co. And today I want to talk to you about something very potent, but very specific right now in the time of COVID. And you're like, oh, not another COVID live stream. It's not a COVID live stream, but it is a COVID live stream. Here's what I mean. Okay, so... The example I'm about to use, I'm going to relate it back to podcasting a lot because it's something I'm seeing a lot. I work on the back end of a lot of people's businesses um, and I'm seeing this a lot. And so I'm going to use podcasting as an example here, but have yourself a little check like, am I doing this in my live streams? Am I doing this in my postings? Am I doing this in my blog? Like whatever the thing is for you. <laughs> You can't go through the camera, no. Okay, so are you letting your audience down with this one thing, by doing this one thing? And what that one thing is, is showing up in a bold as fuck capacity. So let me explain. Consumption right now is at an all time high, okay? Say that with me again. Consumption right now as is at an all time high. Yes, right, Gabby? Right. People are at home, okay? Not everybody, but a lot of people are at home, okay? Uh, and a lot of people have their kids at home. So you're gonna it's gonna make sense why I'm using podcasting as a second in a second. People are searching for prayers, for answers, for something more than ever before, okay? Online content consumption especially is at an all-time high right? Never before have we seen anything like this. Um, because people are at home, people are scared. When your foundation is like unsure, you're like, okay, um, what can I do about this? So people more than ever are praying for a fucking miracle. That's you. To show up and let them know like what is possible in life and how can they change it? And it, like, it could be it could be bringing more happiness. It could be starting your online business. Like it could be so many things. The topic doesn't actually fucking matter right now or what you do doesn't actually matter right now. What you, how you're showing up is what matters right now. So here's what I'm seeing a lot for podcasting and which is why I say have an audit of how you, are you doing this in your live streams, in your posting, in just your general, wherever you go for your messaging. What I'm seeing a lot of is podcasters pulling back and um, not posting or publishing as many episodes, right? Um, or like, oh, should I really post this episode right now because like I, I recorded it for COVID, is it really like relevant? Of course it is. But podcasting especially is so powerful right now because <laughs> she's waiting for Robin to come home. She's like, where is he? Because, <clears throat> wait, people are home with their kids, right? So, Consumption's at an all-time high, but they're not always able to like sit down at the computer and watch an hour-long masterclass because they're doing shit, maybe they're starting their online business or working their online business, the kids are pulling at them, their husband's home, and they're just like, fucking hell, my god, can I get five minutes, right? Which is why podcasting is so potent, because people can throw on their headphones or one headphone, you know, listen to their kids, they can have it on while they're cooking, like, 
do it while the kids are in the living room kind of thing, right? They can be listening to your episodes. And this is what I'm seeing a lot of podcasters do, like, because they're struggling because their kids are at home, right? But more than ever, people need you to show up. Consumption is at an all-time high. So um, have a little check-in with yourself. Are you pulling back? Are you posting less episodes than you normally are? Are you not saying anything because, oh, what if somebody sees this and says, oh, right? More than ever, the world needs to hear what your thoughts are. There are clients of mine who are conspiracy theorists. There are clients of mine who um, believe that, you know, I guess this falls into conspiracy theory, but like the virus is, you know, evolution, like weeding out population control and there's all kinds of stuff happening. Um, people have their own stance. This is a never before seen thing, right? In our lifetime, it's been seen before. There's been polio, there's been the Spanish flu. So that was like not a good statement, but in our lifetime, we haven't really seen it. So, um, what I'm trying to say is the world more than ever needs to hear your voice, your opinion. That is what is so magnetizing. Not just being, um, like cute Sally Sue and like playing it safe and riding the line and not really saying what you want to say, right? What is serving people right now is being really bold, um, doing the scary thing, saying the scary thing. And making sure you're still showing up in a bold and consistent, if not more consistent than ever, capacity. If you haven't noticed, I have a shit ton of live streams compared to before. Um, that was partially me sorting out my team stuff and partially me like, okay, it's time. <laughs> right, Gabby? Um, for me, like I just shared that we had just shy of a multiple five-figure month um, in the last, what, not even a month, in the last 30 days. And... It was like really scary to share. My mom doesn't know when she sees it. Maybe she's gonna laugh, maybe she's gonna faint. I'm not really sure. Um, I had lots of stuff like, what if clients see this and blah, blah, blah. So much stuff popping up, but more than ever, it's just so important to be sharing it. Whatever it is, the niggly feelings, scary thing, it's important to say it. So I want you to really have a check in with yourself right now. Are you showing up less when you know you need to show up more? Now, there's people who are just not doing well throughout this whole thing, right? And that's okay. And if you need to have a pullback and a relax and a rest, that's okay. Honor what your intuition and body is telling you. However, for those of you who are like, I want to put content out there, but I'm finding it difficult, or I don't want to say this, or I don't want to say the wrong thing. Like, don't you think it was fucking scary for me to say like, oh yeah, um, I had a multi five figure month during a fucking recession, during like COVID, during like all this happening, of course it was. And like people are literally thanking me for it because we're not talking about like aligned abundance overflow in like huge heart-centered spiritual light leaders. We're talking about like the world ending essentially. So that's my two cents for the day. Check yourself. Are you showing up in the bold as fuck way that's aligned with you? Or are you kind of scaling back? And is there an in-between where you can really show up and really shine for the people who need you so you're not letting your audience down? People need you. People need you to show the fuck up. People need you to be bold. People need you to spew your theories that you're so afraid to say all over the freaking internet. That's what they need right now. <laughs>